Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. One more. This one I got from my mother. She told me when you're dealing with a situation as a teenager. Mm -hmm. Now some of you women and some of you men, young men and young ladies, you all need to hear this. Age is not a factor. It just happens more with younger people. If you are in a situation, this was a warning the Lord had me share with the junior high school class. And I honestly believe, this is a Christian school, but I honestly believe that a child was getting ready to walk into that same exact situation. And because of what we shared in the classroom, they knew how to get out of danger. Here we are. You're in a room with a relative. The relative is much older than you. So there's an automatic thing of respect that you show them. But this relative, male or female, aunt or uncle, mother or father, is drunk. Drunk. And you are alone with them. And they are so drunk that there is no conscience. This conscience switch is all the way off. But the alcohol is working their mind, baby. And they start fantasizing. And all of a sudden, here are the warning signs. They start complimenting how you're filling out. Ooh, you really are looking pretty. Or for you young men, they start complimenting what a big man you're looking like. And wow, you're really turning into a real man. Ooh, we, I bet you have the ladies chasing all over you. Come on over here and give Auntie a hug. Or come on over here and give Uncle a hug. Whoever the person is, whatever the relationship, don't go and give them a hug. Find an excuse. I don't care how stupid, silly it is. They're too drunk to care. And stay out of arm's reach. Keep your distance. Stay close to the door. Find a way to ease that lock off if the door is locked. And you tell them, oh, my friend's calling me. I'll be right back. I'm going to go downstairs. They got something of mine. I don't care what you got to say. Get out of there. Make up any excuse. At that point, you got to make up something to get out. Play it off like you don't even know what they're up to. But you know how you know something isn't right? You really feel it in your gut. It just, something about the whole situation feels slimy and nasty. It doesn't sit right with you. I did role play in that classroom. And when I was telling the girl to turn around and let auntie look at her, the kids in the classroom were like, oh. And I told them, I said, that feeling that you got right there, that's your alarm. When you start feeling that, you get the heck out of Dodge. You run if you have to, without saying a word. Just get out of there. Because many kids have been molested while the adult was under the influence. Many adults have been raped while the other person overpowers them and they are under the influence of alcohol or whatever else they're influenced by. Check out the warning signals. Listen to what they're saying about you. Too many compliments, baby. You need to go. It's time to make a very hasty exit. If you know what's good for you, get 